Can you imagine a wall searching for hundreds of miles across the North Sea? Well, that's what two oceanographers have proposed we do to combat climate change and rising sea levels. Stay tuned to find out more. So the Northern European Enclosure Dam, or NEED in short, would be basically stretching from the north of France to the UK to Norway. And what they aim to achieve with this project is to create a massive enclosed body of water in the region, inside the dam itself. And this is basically to combat rising sea levels. And you may ask, what are global rising sea levels? Well, they can be attributed to two main factors, primarily due to the melting of glaciers and ice sheets, and the second factor is the thermal expansion of water. And from 1880, sea levels have risen by 23 centimeters and are projected to continue increasing to 1 to 2 meters by the year 2100. So what would need essentially achieve? Primarily the protection of the coastline of 15 affected countries along the coast of the enclosure. So those 15 countries would be essentially protected from the effects of rising sea levels, contributing to approximately between 25 and 50 million people. And they plan to do this by, as I said, two uh, dams, Need South and Need North. Need South would have a total length of 161 kilometers, stretching between the south of France in Brest up to the UK, so essentially crossing the English Channel and having a maximum depth of 102 meters, which is no joke. However, it is completely dwarfed by Need North, which would be stretching between Scotland and Norway, very close to the town of Bergen. And this would have a total distance of 476 kilometers, which is an astonishing length. Apart from that, it would have a maximum depth of 321 meters because it will pass through the Norwegian trench. So in total, need would be would, would amount to a total length of 637 kilometers. So if we were to put the size of need into perspective, until today the two largest dams or seawalls ever created are the Absolute Dyke at 32 kilometers of length and a depth of 11 meters and the Seymangum seawall at 33 kilometers of length and 36 meters of depth which when you combine them to need either one of those would be 15 times smaller than Need North the the larger of the two proposed dams. So as you might expect, there are some technical challenges that need to be dealt with before even considering need, the need dams. Uh, according to the researchers, there would be needed approximately 51 billion tons of sand to construct the two dams. So to get a, a perspective of how much that is, that is approximately the global usage or demand of sand every year and obviously we need to consider the logistics of taking the material not only sand but all the materials to the location the manpower needed to achieve such a project sourcing of materials and also availability of certain materials especially sand as it is increasingly becoming scarce one also has to consider the immense energy requirements to build and maintain such a dam. Apart from that, there is another problem when considering need. Its effect 
on the shipping industry. So within the proposed enclosure, there are ports such as Rotterdam, Antwerp and Hamburg, which are three main hubs of the maritime sector. The researchers have proposed two alternatives to this issue. One would be to incorporate sluice gates in the dams themselves, so they would open and close upon entry or exit of a shipping vessel. So moving on to the financial struggles of such a project, please obviously bear in mind that this is just a feasibility study, so it is quite difficult to wrap our heads around the actual costs of such a project. So what the researchers did essentially is compare with other existing projects such as the Seemengum seawall and the Rotterdam Harbour extension and they took the cost per cubic kilometer, so the cost per volume of dam uh, constructed and then they multiplied it by how much need would be in volume. So that is essentially how they calculated the costs of this feasibility study. So when compared to the Seemengum seawall which came at a total cost of 1.83 billion euros need would amount to a total cost of 192 billion euros. So that is obviously when you compare it to uh, the Seemengum seawall. However, when comparing it to a project within the European Union in Rotterdam, the Rotterdam Harbour extension cost a total of 3.38 billion euros and when multiplied by the volume needed for need, the total cost amount to 508 billion euros. So, in conclusion, the total cost estimated by the researchers when incorporating all the infrastructure and additional pumps and machinery that is needed, an estimate was brought up to be about 250 to 500 billion euros for the entire project to be built and maintained. So, although this is an immense amount of money, one has to consider that this would be spread out over a number of years. The researchers have proposed that it would be complete within a 20 year uh, span. And the costs would be divided, obviously, in a best case scenario, between the 15 uh, affected countries within the enclosure. Obviously, given that all of them would contribute to this project. So apart from the financial and technical aspect of this project, one has to also consider the ecological and environmental effects of this project. So as stated by the researchers, need would heavily impact the diverse ecosystems in the region, both in and outside of the enclosure, but it would also affect the migration patterns of sea creatures, rain patterns, and the sea currents. However, on a more positive note, need would be a probably a better alternative than continuing to upgrade and modify existing projects such as dams and seawalls to combat sea level rise, such as what is happening in Venice. We will cover that in a separate video, by the way. And it would also have the effect of being one project to completely eliminate the problem of sea level rise in a, in a vast region such as the North Sea. So in my opinion, guys, it would be technically extremely challenging to build and maintain such a dam, especially considering the depth at which need would need to be when we consider built. that oil rigs have a maximum depth at which they are supported by a fixed structure of around 450 meters. Greater than that, we move to more dynamic and variable um, 
structures or foundations for oil rigs. So let alone a massive, massive dam. This would also be um, subjected to sea currents and tides and storms, obviously. Apart from all this, one needs to consider the political and policy making uh, difficulties and hurdles that such a project would encounter having the diversity of 15 countries but also in the larger global sense on what other nations would think about such a project. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is our first video on the channel. However, we will be posting every single week uh, new content for you guys to watch if you have any recommendations or comments, please leave them below Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week